Hey everybody, it's Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and uh, because it's Father's Day as of the time I'm recording this, I decided to buy a wine that, quite frankly, I've been holding off on for a while because I, I sometimes feel $20 for a rosé is is a little bit absurd. So this is the 2020 Miraval Cuvée Special. It's 13% alcohol by volume, and it's from the Côte de Provence in France. Um, like I said, pay $20 for it at my local grocery store. And I don't. Is it, is it just me or is it like, this is for the most part, totally worthless in my opinion. I, like, I know it's to try to add a little bit of an extra protection from, but just put like a, a basic wax cap or just a little something else right here. You don't have to do the whole sleeve. You don't need to cut the, like, or use a screw top. There's Stelvins, there's Stelvins that age, there's Stelvins that don't age. Just use that, getting off my soapbox, opening the wine, it's father's damn allowed to rant. All right, so from a color standpoint, this is a pale pink orange, no, art, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so on the nose, so. So I was expecting the first thing to get would be a fruit element. The first thing I'm getting out of this is rose petals. Yeah, rose petals. And then there's a little bit of a peach, there's a little bit of a strawberry, a hint of raspberry, a tiny, like a, almost like a, a maraschino cherry type note, and a little bit of cantaloupe. Maybe a touch of lemon, just a little bit, just a little bit. But yeah, I mean, those are the things I'm getting on the nose. No secondary, no tertiary. But how's it taste? Medium body, medium plus acid. The intensity on the nose is medium, and you'd think I would know better to say that during that section of the tasting, um, but uh, I've only done like 800 of these videos, so I'm obviously a slow learner. In terms of the intensity on the palate, medium plus intensity on the palate, the, the, the thing that hits me up front with this is those melon notes, that, ro that, that kind of floral rose element, and surprisingly, the lemon. Those are the, those are the three things that hit me right up front. The other flavors really kind of do their own part to come in later into the approach, except for that maraschino cherry. That maraschino cherry is not there in the approach whatsoever, but the moment mid palate starts, oh, it, it's there. It hits hard and it sticks around for a while. Uh, then everything else kind of balances out and kind of tapers off in the end, but it still has a strong floral finish. On that note, finish is medium finish. Um, going about 35 seconds for me. Overall, it's it's kind of what I've expected for a rosé. Um, now, $20 worth? Eh, that's debatable. But let's get to the Blick just to see how it rates before we have that argument. So from a balance standpoint, full point. Finger balance, no complaints. Length, medium finish, so half a point. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium plus on the palate, so half a point. And complexity, getting a good range of primary elements. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get secondary on this, which I did not detect on my palate. Um, I did not expect tertiary, so I'm gonna give you half a point. In the end, this wine comes out to two and a half points. For $20, this is good. For $20, this is good. If this was, ah, I mean, this is with me being a little crazy here. If this was like 13, I would say it'd be very good. Uh, now, with all the prices of things lately, um, I don't think there's ever any way you're gonna find this specific wine for $13. I think finding it for 20 is actually probably not a bad deal because I think a lot of places are probably going to end up selling this more about the $25 mark. Uh, but with that being said, if you can find it for 20, it is a good wine. If you can find it for cheaper, even more points there. Um, not technically, but you know, like holistically, there's more points. You feel it in your soul, like there is. But that's kind of what I give this wine. I, I, I like this. I like it. I don't know if I'd buy it again. At twenty dollars, just to be honest, I'm, I'm just I'm just too cheap. Anyway, this is Mr. Work with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Miraval Rosé? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, and just do nothing because I'm allowed to do that for one day a year. I mean, do nothing and then like edit this wine review while drinking the wine, get it uploaded to YouTube, do all the social media broadcasting, dude, and then. I'm going to do nothing until I fall asleep 20 minutes later. I'll see y'all later.